Two longtime friends are turning junk into joy in Pike Road. WSFA 12 News anchor Jet Davis has the story in this week's County Road 12. This right here is a Natural Life. It's a company that's all over the world and it's very bright and cheerful. Nikki Falshoni and Lauren Robbins have come a long ways in the last few months, but this really all started more than 20 years ago. She and I go way back to church days and we were prayer partners and I watched her son. Our kids were the same age and we've done several small businesses for many years. Just the more we were around each other, the more we talked, um, we just realized we had a lot more in common. A few years ago, they decided to try something new. I knew it was what we were supposed to do because she said, I've been thinking about a name and I said, I have two. And we both had the same name in mind. It was crazy. We were like, what? It's called Junk Teaks Market. Um, I am a junker at heart. I love to find old stuff and make it new. It's one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. For the first year, they operated out of a small room and were open one weekend a month. Then, Labor Day of 2023, the ladies took over the rest of this warehouse. I'm telling you, we are having way too much fun to call this work. We have a lot of antiques. We had a lot, a lot of just thrifted finds, um, but we have some new things too. We have clothing boutiques for women and for children, and we have a quilt maker. It even has a man cave, so you'll never miss a play. We have our big screen TV, which we love. Nikki and Lauren combine faith and fun to create a unique trip back in time. I think one of my favorite things is when people walk in here and they say, oh, I had one of these when I was a kid. I love being behind the counter. I love checking people out. I love interacting with the people who come in here. In Pike Road, at along County Road 12. Junk Teaks in Pike Road is now open every Thursday through Saturday from 10 to 5, and we have a link to their Facebook page and this story on WSFA.com.